The funeral of National Freedom Party leader Zanele Gamakwazam Sibi will be held in Ulundi, northern KwaZulu Natal today. Makwazam Sibi, who died in the Umhlanga Hospital on Monday at the age of 59, has been accorded a provincial official Category 2 funeral. She served as Deputy Science and Technology Minister between 2014 and 2019. Makwazam Sibi was a former chairperson of the IFP until she left the party to form the National Freedom Party in 2011. Meanwhile, ANC Member of Parliament Noma Temba Maseko Jele has described Makwazam Sibi as a powerful woman who fought against patriarchy. Maseko Jele was speaking during the debate on the Criminal Procedure Amendment Bill in the last sitting of the National Assembly yesterday. And for more on the story, we cross live to our reporter Ayanda Mshongo. She is uh, outside the house of the late NFP leader in Ulundi in KwaZulu Natal. Very good morning to you, Ayanda. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what can you tell us at this point? What's happening? Very good morning to you, and good morning to our viewers. Well, certainly a somber mood, a difficult day today um, of Simpiwe for the members of the National Freedom Party, for the Magwazam Sibi family, for residents here in the area of Ulundi and surrounding um, areas under the Zululand district. As of course, today they come together to pay their final respects to Mama Uzanele Gamagwazam Sibi this morning. Uh, the funeral procession will be leaving from Durban. Her body is on its way now. They left, we understand, about 30 minutes ago uh, from Durban. As you said, then your introduction that she died on Monday at the Umhlanga Hospital. Family members as well as uh, NFP members, we are told, are part of that procession that is making its way here. She takes her final journey home here to the area of Olundi. Of course, this is where in this district, the Zululand district is where she was born in the area of Ngangatu in Babanangu and she spent most of her life having been educated here and having worked and served beginning her political career here as you know she joined the IFP in Gata at the age of 13 while she was at school making her way up the ranks of the party, moving into local government in the early uh, 90s. She started off as a councillor and making her way and she served in many uh, positions as a councillor, as the as a mayor. She went on to represent at the time the IFP in the Guadalupe Natal legislature. Thereafter moving on uh, when they parted ways and she left in Gata Freedom Party in 2011 to her own party, the National Freedom Party, thereafter becoming uh, a, a member of the uh, National Assembly. So indeed today this is a woman who aside from a political career um, what she did and the work that she did here in the uh, community speaking to uh, members of the public who have uh, come out here in the couple of days who have said uh, and lauded her for the work that she has done here to empower people in rural areas. The work that she did to empower women especially as we know she was very very passionate about uh, women and women's rights and today all of those people are coming out some who are not members of the national freedom party community members have told us that are also here today to bid their final farewells to uh, gamma guazam sibi so we are outside the family home as i've said as and and of course when the procession arrives the funeral service is going to be held at the old guazam natal legislature building which is about uh, five minutes away from where we are but of course her, her Body is first going to be brought here uh, to her family home and in accordance with uh, traditions uh, certain uh, rituals will then be performed here. This will be her final stop. She will then, um, her body will then be taken to the Guazanata, old Guazanatal legislature uh, building where the funeral service is expected to take place at around 10 a.m. Uh, this morning. But indeed, St. Pua, today, a hard day, a difficult day. I was just speaking to some of the leaders of the uh, NFP, still shocked, still in disbelief um, that their leader is no more. And I think what is more, more difficult for them is she passed away um, barely months before the elections. And this was one election we are told that she was looking forward to. She was working uh, with her party leaders for a strong comeback following the setback that they suffered in 2016 when the party was unable to uh, participate or take part in the local government elections. Of course, that was because 
they did not pay uh, the registration fee on time but they had come together they were working the party structures and in fact the secretary general of the party Kenan Mbledja was just telling me that uh, uh, on a Saturday before she fell ill they'd had a party meeting and she was ready uh, though she was not uh, well and had slowly over the past years been recovering but she was ready to go out and campaign for the party and that for them has been one of the most difficult um, uh, uh, to get over the fact that she was so ready for them to make uh, this uh, comeback but uh, today they're here uh, to bid their final uh, farewells to Ogamakwazam Sebi Simpiwa Now Ayanda, I did mention that there will be uh, a category 2 funeral so uh, do we know at this point what the program looks like? The program has not yet um, we have uh, has not yet been given out. We are still waiting for the program. But as you said, some people are there that uh, she has been accorded a special provincial funeral category two. The premier of the province, Asile Zigalala, will be delivering the eulogy. Of course, remember that uh, on Tuesday, Premier Zigalala led the KwaZulu Natal government to meet with their uh, family, and um, so today he will be delivering the message from government. We are of course expect. Um, other uh, members of uh, government, uh, national and here in the uh, province, uh, members of uh, the various or leaders rather of uh, the uh, various uh, opposition parties or other political parties, the DA, the IFP, also expected to come and um, um, bid their uh, 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 farewells to Gamakwaza, uh, Gamakwaza Msibi Simpua. All right, Ayanda, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for that update. Uh, we'll touch base with you a little later on. We do appreciate your time. There is our reporter, Ayanda Mshomo, speaking to us outside uh, the, home, the, well, the home of uh, the late uh, Zanila Kamakwaza Msibi. And uh, we do understand that uh, her body has already left uh, the mortuary, making its way to her home, where she'll make her final stop and a final journey home. We'll definitely give you an update as and when it happens.